Welcome and happy Sunday. So good to be here with you on Venusian Empress Oracle. It is Empress Melissa and we are here to do your weekly forecast. Goddess Offset Egyptian style. So we will be getting into the Offset Egyptian Oracle cards. Now, if you were drawn here, it is not by accident and there is a message here for you. So stick around and see what that may be. Maybe a, a tough birthing process at this point for you going through these doorways, going through these passageways to your enlightenment, to your ascension, but hey, it is absolutely gonna be worth it. Just like that baby when it comes out the other side, right? You are definitely going through a tough process with that sarcophagus energy, perhaps. All right, but that initiation is underway and the worst is behind you is what I'm hearing. All right, guys, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know down in the comments how this may be resonating for you. We've got the Moonology uh, manifestation cards. Focus on the positive and step into your power. That is absolutely going to help you to step into your power and to feel so much more alive like she's feeling there, right? You're definitely going to be feeling much better once you get on the other side of whatever this difficulty may be for you at this time. One, two, three. Easy as one, two, three. Just see it as so, and it is. We've got relax. Just relax, you know, as you do, just like when you're trying to take a big crap, because that's essentially what it's like when you're trying to uh, deliver a baby, because you essentially don't want to push. It's the same kind of action, 144, I just saw on the timer. Um, you know, if you can just relax and allow yourself to be moved through that process, because there is a process of peristalsis, or a natural wave-like motion that is created um, in these portal waves, right? If you will, it's like a wave-like motion that moves whatever is in there downward. And so if you just relax, that process actually goes a lot easier. That could be helpful for someone. Go for it, yes, don't hold yourself back now. That Ram Energy Aries coming out today, you are definitely ready to take that bull by the horns and tackle any obstacle that is before you like it's nothing, baby. All right, so. We are also going to tap into the Vice Versa Tarot to clarify the Moonology cards. We are also going to get some Lover's Oracle cards and see what may be going on in love for us for this week ahead. And if you need a personal reading, guys, don't hesitate to reach out at the information in the description box. We'll get some messages also from your guardian angels. Ooh, we got some passionate energy coming out here in the Lover's Oracle, so you definitely could be feeling good. Others could be noticing you at this time. You could be engaging in some sexy time. Who knows, all right? But we're gonna get some messages out and see what's going on for you, my dear soul travelers, and thank you once again for being here. All right, so get your question ready as well. One last bonus, we will answer your question at the end, so do stick around for all the good stuff. Setting this energy in space, thank you so much to the angels, ancestors, way showers, guides of the highest white light for clearing this space and energy, setting a circle of wisdom and protection. Evil eye back to sender. We call back all of our power. Three, four, five. It is so. Let us see what is going on here today. So things are going to be moving fast, most likely. At this time, you may feel like it's a little bit hard to keep up because look at that scarab energy, right? That is all about awakening and ascension. Spiritual transformation and power red pregnancy and birth. So again, you're in the birth canal. The best thing you can do is just relax and go along with the ride and try to, you know, adjust as quickly and as easily as possible. Alchemy and creation. Yeah. When you're talking about transmutation, you're literally like changing something from what it once was to something totally different, you know? commend yourself for going through this process, being willing to, and sticking with it. What's coming out for us as a collective for this week? Ooh, sec, cell kit. So, scorpion energy, magical protection. 
Yeah, so call in that protection around you. You know, as you're uh, walking through your day, moving through your day, through, you know, those outside energies that may not be vibing at the same level as you. We've got this energy of blue and green coming forward today. So this is going to help you to protect your heart. Speaking those words is going to set that energy of protection around you to help keep you protected. All you need to do is imagine a circle of golden white light surrounding you and call in the highest form of protection to surround you and to keep out any unwanted energies, if you will. Hoppy and water spirit, yes. Again, with the heart energy, we've got more of that blue-green energy. Those are going to be the chakras it feels like we're gonna be focused on at this time. Nile River, flow and abundance. Because once again, once those uh, floodgates open, once the birth canal is fully open, all of the abundance is waiting to come through, all right? Are you ready to receive it? Let's read our magical protection card here today, 36 coming to a nine. We are absolutely coming to the end of this particular journey and process, so just try to go easy with yourself as much as possible. Selket is the powerful scorpion goddess who protected both Aset and her travelers to recover the body of her husband, Osiris. So Selket helped to recover the parts of, you know, um, Osiris's body that his brother Set dismembered him essentially after he killed him and then scattered his parts of his body all over, you know, so that they had to be recovered and brought back together and Selket helped with this process as well as that mummification process and bringing him to life for that 24 hour period where Horus was conceived, right? So many Egyptians wore scorpion amulets to protect themselves from bites from live scorpions for what they feared they revered and in trust they would be then protected. So if you have a healthy fear or respect, if you will, for something that can actually do harm to you or is stronger or more powerful than you, you actually are helping to set that protection around you. So Scorpio, you may be that uh, sign. You may um, like scorpions, have a scorpion. <laughs> I know I have scorpions that I find in my house from time to time. So you, again, may very well relate to this energy. And this is also talking about how this is a natural kind of like outer hardened protection, if you will, to keep things from penetrating and causing you hurt and harm, if you will, especially in your emotions. All right, so Selket is a powerful healing goddess and the first divinity to call for if you are bitten by a venomous snake or spider. So definitely make sure you call on Selket. All right, if you're bitten by a poisonous snake, spider, scorpion, any of these things that could cause you harm. Her presence provides protection against spells and psychic attacks. So just as much as the, you know, uh, physical versions, like with the venomous uh, aspects of the reptiles, this is also saying that you can call on this energetic and unseen protection against those, you know, scorpions, spiders, and snakes in the unseen realms that may be trying to, you know, harm you, if you will, harm your energetic body. Channeled message from Selket. I am the goddess Selket, and know if you trust me and revere what others fear, I will always be your friend and spiritual ally. I guarded Aset and her son Horus, and I restored him from death to life. My presence means your safety, but, do, but does not free you from the responsibility of being in accord with Goddess Mott always. So you can be freed of the evil or the wrong that's being done towards you, you know, that evil eye, that harm that others may be trying to inflict upon you. But you as well have to as ensure that you are honoring the laws, if you will, staying within the boundaries and keeping a natural protection about you as well. 
I am a goddess of high magic and my power for the alchemist is strong, but remember my beauty comes from the controlled use of great power. So we've got to make sure that we have also ourselves that controlled use of the great power that we have access to. So you are being called to you know, be aware of your heart as well as your throat chakra, how you're feeling, what you're speaking, and not allowing 1010 others to get you off course, you know, keep you tensed up, stuck in that birth canal and not being able to move forward through your process. For abundance, take care to avoid being stung by those out to deceive you financially, unexpected bills, but with careful planning, you should be fine. So again, try to be responsible and head off, ward off the evil spirits, if you will. All right, so love. As the goddess of sexuality, Salkat asks you to take great care with your relationships and quickly release manipulative partners from your life. So if this relates to you, definitely consider what you may need to do to release that energy so it's not you know, uh, continually affecting you in negative ways. It's almost like you're being poisoned by this person or this energy. For work or career, sudden changes in your career, work as a medical doctor, nurse, or spiritual healer would suit you. Well, looks like I'm in the right field. <laughs> I work in surgery myself. For travel, sudden interruptions, likely when traveling, it is good to offer a prayer to sell cut first to minimize any disruption. So go ahead and put that protection in place once again before you even set out on your travels to ensure everything is going well and being set up in good ways ahead of you, okay? 1144 on the timer. For health, breathing difficulties are possible. Low energy might be caused by psychic attacks or angry thoughts directed at you. So again, make sure you're calling in Selket and that protection on the energetic realms, right, to protect you. For family, watch out for loved ones being deceived in some way and know that you might be the one who has to take action to prevent this. So make sure 1212 that you're also putting that protection around your family, around yourself, your abundance, everything that you have coming in that you may not even see coming. So it's, again, we got to be aware of what we can see, like the actual scorpions and snakes and stuff like that, as well as the ones we can't see, those vampires, you know, uh, that are trying to come for our heart, that are trying to, and you know, throw us off balance and sting us and poison us and keep us stuck in this energy where we're not moving forward and we're not, you know, being able to take advantage of these opportunities of abundance or even tap into them because we're so tensed up and you know we're not focused on relaxing and allowing ourselves to be moved through the process of the birth canal again you know um it's very interesting because i feel like it really does relate uh with the tarot energy and everything but what i did learn in hypnobirthing is you know um that the again the baby is not meant to be pushed out by the mother, if you will. That naturally occurs as she relaxes and just allows that process of the peristalsis or the natural motion of moving the baby down, right? 1331, we're just holding the space for the baby to be able to take the actions that are necessary to come into this world without stress. Because when you stress, all of the muscles tense up and it makes it a lot harder for your baby to be able to come out of that birth canal, right? And same thing for you energetically when you're trying to go through that birth canal in these doorways, right? Forgive. This is going to be very important at this time. Pisces energy coming out. Masculine and feminine need to be in that yin-yang balance at this time. Very, very important. So we're going to have to ensure that we allow that forgiveness of ourselves, of others, and this kind of energy to allow us to move forward. Make time for self-love is also going to be important. Libra energy. So you're going to need to focus on making sure that you are healed within yourself and that you feel as healed as possible with other people and wrongs that have been done towards you as well. So Aries energy. Cool your emotions. 
You're definitely going to have to keep calm in these situations. Again, tap into that energy of healing the heart, healing the throat by affirming with your voice, I forgive this person, I forgive myself. You know, I don't hold any energy of um, anger or resentment because those are the things that weigh us down and keep us tied karmically to this plane and keep us reincarnating back here so we can learn those lessons so that when we finally do leave, we are light because we have released it all, 1515. We've balanced out the scales, right? So be humble, yes, sit down, be humble. We've all done things that, you know, have hurt other people and we've got to get to a place to where we can let that go within ourselves as well as let others off the hook too, you know what I mean? Leave the past behind, absolutely. So if we, we just engage in what these energies are asking us to do right here, it's going to be so much easier to be in that energy of having that natural protection in place. And then if we need the extra protection, sell pet. Amazing to help us to get through this. Find a balance. Once again, Pisces energy as well as Libra energy. We've got Aries and Capricorn on the table. These could be in your chart or you could be dealing with these people. Also Taurus coming out. Know your worth. This is absolutely going to help you to feel grounded, centered within yourself and having no question about who you are, your worth, your value, and what you are able to accomplish. All right? It's all about getting the fundamental, fundamental aspects of our understanding correct. And then that helps to be the overarching you know, um, effect in what we take into account when we're looking at the minimal and menial aspects of this 3D reality. So forgive. Yes. This is you understanding your value and worth and turning away from those people, more importantly, that don't understand their value and worth, doing that healing that is necessary, allowing yourself to open up and bloom. You're not focused on other people is what this really feels like at this time. It feels like a lot of self-love going on here, which is really good to see because it is important that you put that work in, all right? to heal those conflicts either with others or within yourself. So forgive whatever you need to forgive. Maybe others in the past have not seen your value and worth, but this is not the time to try to convince anybody. This is the time to put in the work with yourself and let them deal with themselves as well. Pray for them. You know, it's always said, pray for your enemies. Pray for those you love because we're all fighting this battle. Pull your emotions, yes. Remove your emotions, turn them off. King of Cups energy. This may be a time where you need to just focus on what's most important and not necessarily engaging in these battles with people who really don't, in the end, care. They just are looking for an opportunity for you to engage with them in these negative energies. It's time to put an end to that. It's time to grow up, be mature, let things go that no longer serve us, that are only keeping us in a lower vibration potentially. Leave the past behind says, yes, it's time to move forward. Put a plan in place. It's going to be necessary for you to be able to do this healing that is necessary for you to really start believing in that process moving forward, right? To put all those worries and fears behind you and to finally say goodbye to the karmic past. So who's ready for that, all right? Because we got the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands. It's all about learning our lessons and moving forward. And again, keeping that overarching understanding of what we're here to really do. And that's to master ourselves and the understanding that we have the control when we choose and practice to and to become masters at self-regulating our mental and emotional states, of course, in positive ways, all right, and understanding what is ours to be uh, in control of, uh, what is the serenity prayer, help me to understand what I can change, what I can't, and to be at peace, you know, and to the, know the difference kind of thing, all 
all right? That's really what it's all about, is to do your own work. And right now, this is definitely a time for that. The Lover's Oracle cards say, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. For now is the time to give to yourself. So this healing is absolutely important for you. You know, take that time to get away and heal everything within you that has been broken, that has been dismembered. You know, pull it back together and allow yourself to experience true bliss and happiness in your life. Like this rainbow energy, it's building that bridge. Just like you would if you die, you have to release everything, right? So why not choose to? That's more powerful by doing so in this lifetime while you are still alive, when you have choice, not when you have no choice and it all has to be released and then you do have to come back at some point and deal with it still. So freedom says there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. It's always your choice, but are you ready to build that bridge? within yourself, within your energy system, so that spirit will be able to absolutely know that you have worked through these situations, because why? You're no longer affected by them. You're no longer triggered by them. It says clearly in the Bible, you will not be triggered by things, even in esoteric and metaphysical teachings. Once you have done your healing work, you will not be triggered by past circumstances and you will be able to leave it behind easily. 2112, you'll be able to relax, you'll be able to move through these phases, the birth canal, whatever the case may be, with ease and rise as that lotus. All right, guys, let's see what the guardian angels have for you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and bell notification. Do leave me a message below. I love to engage with you guys. We have the violet energy, beautiful. We are in our crown chakra. We are wearing our crown. We have straightened it. Breakthrough is coming through because, you know, with that straight crown in line with our aligned chakras, we are absolutely that lightning rod to receive that message, that breakthrough for ourselves. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crashed by fear, all right? Again, we don't wanna get tensed up by fear because that slows everything down. How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? So cast a spell on your life by speaking things differently. And don't allow those that are casting shadows or throwing shade, 22-22, I just saw on the timer, to affect your dreams or how you feel or your power, all right? Remember who you are. Know thyself. It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. This is the time for your breakthrough. And I think many of us are absolutely in that place. Let me know below once again. And let us get an answer to your question, shall we? In three, two, and one. The answer at this time is a hard no, my friends. You know exactly what you need to do. Blessings for your week ahead. And don't forget to join me tomorrow for Crystal Mandala Monday messages. We're going to see what crystal magic is coming out for our buck full moon. See you there, guys. Have a beautiful 4th of July weekend. And bye for now.